Hello everyone. Um, today I'd like to show you how to use a mocker pot once and for all. Anyway, so this is the aluminium variety. Uh, it's a three cup aluminium, Bialetti. I use only Bialetti. Uh, I'm sure there are other machines. I have got another one that's porcelain that I got from Begamo in um, Bergamo in uh, Italy a long time ago. Um, but it's still, this one here produces the best coffee. I think it's to do with the aluminium. It conducts the heat really well. I have another favourite, which is Silla Bialetti. It's a two-cup uh, Musa, um, and this produces a great coffee. It doesn't over-extract, which is a risk of most um, mocha pots, is that you over-extract. This one's impossible to over-extract, simply because it doesn't have a lot of water in the base. Um, this is great for one person, and it's stainless steel, so if you're afraid of things like heavy metal aluminium, then this is probably the one, and it also lasts longer. Um, now, they're very simple. There's no um, real drama behind it. You've got a little filter um, cup here, water in there. I've used this one many times. It doesn't look pleasant inside after a while, but it, I think that's just, it's just a lot of coffee stain in there. It, it shouldn't cause an issue. The only thing that does wear out are the seals in the bottom here. They do go after a while, but as you can see, I've, I've well used this one and it still functions perfectly and they don't cost that much to replace. So I have to put the water inside the base here, just below the valve. Now, as you, if you can see it, it is just below this valve that goes inside. All right, now you don't want it over it, obviously, because this is where the air is released out of it once it get up to um, boiling. I put in the little filter, important is um, that filter is dry so if it is too high the water the water usually comes through the filter now it is important to get the right coffee um, uh, of course we roast our own coffee <laughs> um, but I have tried to roast our own coffee according to that Italian tradition um, the Italian tradition it varies from the north to the south usually it's governed by the degree of roast as well as the percentage of robusta to arabica um, I have about 25% robust, robusta in this blend using traditional origins like Brazil, Colombian, um, Indian robusta and some other Central American and Ethiopian um, coffees for flavour. Um, it is roasted to a dark level. Now you just scoop it in. It is important to have quite a fine coffee. Now I see some people saying don't have fine coffee, have a coarse coffee, but the problem is Coffee extraction is determined by the length of time that you steep it versus um, the fineness of the grind. So a finer coffee will generally have a shorter extra, uh, steeping time. Hence, an espresso machine, which has one of the shortest um, steeping times and it's one of the finest coffees. Turkish coffee course is um, the finest, but they do everything against the book and there are reasons for that. You can look that up if you want. Anyway, so you fill this up to the top and you don't want it to go overflowing, but I'd use the blade of the teaspoon just to make sure it's reasonably level. You don't want it too little in there either. Never half fill it. Some people think that you can save coffee if you're only going to have one cup using a three cup machine by half filling it. Now, no, you have to do the whole thing. Otherwise, you'll over extract the coffee. Make sure that this here is uh, free of um, coffee ground otherwise it will it may possibly leak through the seals you need to have a good seal on it so you put it on so yes the coffee grind if you'll see if i can show you because this is such an important part of it besides the coffee itself is that you'll see it's very fine it's finer than sand and the way you can tell is just to rub it in your fingers it's like very very fine sand it's not, you know, so, but it's not powdery. Powdery, it's going to clog up the machine and you'll over extract again. So we've got it firm, don't do it too tight. Um, I use a gas machine. Electric is by far easier to manage the heat. Um, but the gas one's okay if you've got a gas flame that can be turned right down. So I, this one is a little bit of a nuisance 
um, it's quite hot so I turn it fairly far down and then well as you can see I've got some water in there so I make sure I tip that water out that's from washing it from my previous coffee I put that over the flame and I'll leave the lid up always leave the lid so you can see when it comes through okay so I'll be back when it's starting to come through okay as you can see if you if the you can see the flame below is very very low um, so I'm just waiting for it to come up through the top of this spout just here it comes out nice and rich and dark and it'll spill over and gradually it'll make its way up the side of this um, the pouring top I guess you can call it <laughs> it has a name I can't remember it um, the idea is to cut it off short it's similar to a cafe ristretto that you'd get in the south of Italy or any part of Italy probably for that matter um, the idea is to cut it short and that way you get the sweetest the most flavorsome part without getting well diminishing the bitter components um, reducing the amount of caffeine that you get in the coffee as well it's perfect as an espresso well not as good as an espresso machine of course um, but it is pretty good as a, a short back but it, it performs superiorly as a cafe latte all right so we're just waiting for it to come through and once it starts coming through, we can show you where to stop it. Okay, it's just started to come through. It will come through really slowly, as you can see. You want it to be that dark color. You don't want it to be some sort of clear, uh, thin liquid, because you know if it's dark, it's got body. It is coming out reasonably quick. Sometimes I will just take it off to the side a little bit if there's too much heat there, especially once it starts to get going. Now you don't want it to be bubbling out the top. You don't want it to be light in color and bubbling out the top. It's a three cup, but this really does one good cup as far as I'm concerned. So I will stop it about here, pour it in, and if we look over here, you'll see it's bubbling out now. The rest of it. And, wow. There you go. Once it starts to get going. Still has a little bit left there, but if you tasted the difference, you'd see that this here would be thin, bitter, lack of flavour, have a dirty taste in the back of the throat as well. But if you look at the color here, if you can't see it's really dark, it probably won't be able to see it on this camera, but um, really rich, really dark. Add a sugar to it if it's been roasted correctly and the body just comes out as if you were to add salt to a piece of meat, the flavor comes out in the piece of meat. Same thing there. Some people don't want sugar and you don't need it. Um, so let's just go over it. The most important thing is a coffee blend that is, um, Roasted, I, I prefer roasted into a, a darker level, um, just before second crack or around second crack for certain origins that you blend it in. Should be a blend, that way you create the complexity. We roast with wood, um, that's the traditional way that they um, still do it in some parts of Italy. And they used to do it all the time, of course, before gas came in. Um, wood takes a really long roast. Um, I roast from 30 to 50 minutes using wood. It accentuates the body. And mutes the acidity, perfect for an espresso style of coffee, which this is. Um, and um, I use, um, look for those origins that produce sweetness, body, and uh, a chocolatey sort of expression. So you've got your Colombians, Brazilians, your Indians, uh, Indian Robustas. Um, and then you've got some nice Central American coffees and African coffees like Ethiopians. Costa Ricans and Central Americans and stuff like that. Um, yeah, now this is perfect base for a um, milk. So you just can heat up some milk on the stove and usually traditional cafe latte is one third espresso or coffee, two thirds milk. This you could have with more milk because it is quite strong. Um, yeah, and that's how you can make a tr authentic Italian uh, cafe latte at home. Or you can replace the milk with hot water if you okay. want. As you can see, this is the amount of coffee that I, a water that I did not use in my um, extraction of it. Um, yes, it does make 
three cup espresso uh, style, tazzini or whatever they call it in Italy, uh, meaning very small cups. But if you want that really flavorsome part, I definitely say cut it short so that you only get this. And you can see the difference. There is definitely, a, well, you probably can't see it there, but there's definitely a watery uh, sensation here. No real brown rim on the edge of the Bialetti, but here you've got this beautiful brown rim. And that's just, you can see that it's full of flavor, that is. Okay, very good.